Still on the coronavirus on the African scene, we caught up with journalists from Kenya and Ghana to bring us to speed with the situation in their respective countries. According to the very recent report that has been given by the Ministry of Health, Kenya has four confirmed cases of coronavirus. By yesterday there were three, then today there was one more. And this is someone who came into Kenya uh, from London on the 9th of March this month. And the government says it's still uh, trying to reach out to all those people who've interacted with the four who have already been confirmed to have coronavirus. And as I speak right now, we have like uh, 36 people who are uh, being uh, checked, who are under observation after showing some symptoms. And so far in Kenya, 111 people have been tested and uh, 23 have been found uh, to be negative. The others are still under observation, uh, others in isolation and others in uh, self-quarantine just to monitor their situation. So after the first case was announced in Kenya, there was some panic, especially in Nairobi, where, which is the capital where uh, the person was uh, residing from. That is uh, the patient zero, the first patient. And there was a lot of panic, shopping, people were buying households, uh, toiletries, uh, personal effects, including sanitizers and uh, uh, also soaps, uh, detergents, and other disinfectants. And uh, right now in most of the shopping malls in Nairobi, you, you can rarely find any of those items like the sanitizers and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the soaps and the disinfectants. And even the foodstuffs, people really uh, did panic shopping and the government has really called upon the business fraternity not to hike the prices of uh, commodities that uh, people need during this time. And also uh, the business community has also been asked to keep on restocking and not to hoard goods, not to keep goods. World Health Organization has declared COVID-19 as pandemic. Initially when the disease started in the world, African countries were not recording high figures, but in recent year, in recent times, in the last couple of days, African countries have been recording quite significant number of cases. We can talk of Morocco, uh, Egypt, and then here in Ghana, we, our surrounding or neighboring countries like Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, and Burkina Faso all started recording cases. So currently in Ghana, where uh, I speak, we have six confirmed cases of the COVID-19 uh, uh, virus. The first two cases coming on the 14th of March uh, this year. And then two days after, another four cases were reported. This actually created a raised and fear and panic among the Ghanaian populace. Uh, and it was followed it up with the, nation, the president of the Republic, Nana Adedankwa Akufuado, uh, holding, uh, addressing the nation, where in, her, in his address, the president directed that all schools, from basic school to universities, be closed down to further notice. Additionally, he also stated that uh, he also banned public gatherings such as church service, funerals, marriage ceremonies, among other large gatherings were also banned. Currently, I am standing at the Cape Coast Castle, and you can see that tourist visitation is not as it used to be. As most the patronage, according to the director, patronage has gone down drastically. Obviously, from the taxi drivers that we speak to, People are not willing to borrow uh, uh, their vehicles. And additionally, also, since schools have been closed, other traders are also complaining about uh, low sales and all of that. So definitely, the COVID-19 is having a toll on business activities in the